Hello, hello, hello. All right, welcome to a quick HDPE tutorial with mechanism. You'll need a few things. Not all of these things are required, but I like to add them. So you have an electrolytic separator, two gas tanks, an electric pump, crusher, pressurized reaction chamber times two, and a rotary condensator or something like that. Some form for uh, power and some cables. I'll try and do this mostly with the uh, mechanism tools. And you also need a unlimited water supply. Now, for various mod packs, you can use various things. Sink is a good option, or you can use this one. Um, that's what we're going to do today. And uh, yeah, let's uh, dive right into it. Step one will be the electrolytic separator. So you're going to need a few things. You're going to need some form of power. I've made an ultimate energy cube and I've hooked it up to my flux network. This is uh, my uh, Stormbuck 2 survivor world. So we put down the energy cube, we lay down some pipe, we put the electrolytic separator on top. We connect the electric pump in one, is that the fluids? Yes, it is, like so. And this guy will pump fluid into this guy. So now this one accepts fluid from the front and it outputs hydrogen and oxygen to each of its sides. So what I like to do, this is not uh, really necessary, is to put up some tanks, like so. And we need some cables for our... Uh, for our uh, gases. This is this bad boy. So we put that like so. And we'll see it doesn't do... Oh yeah, it does. Uh, usually you need to use the configurator. Press shift. Tap it once and twice. And you see in the text it says change to pull. And we'll do the same on this side. Shift, right click once and twice, pull, and you see the cables change color. And on each tank, you put it to dumping excess, both of them. This is like a fail safe, because if these machines get a full inventory, it stops to produce. The, the water could also be pumped from the sink, or it could also probably use any other cable that exists in the game. For our next step, we're going to need a crusher, a pressurized reaction chamber, and a rotary condensator. And these three will be put next to each other. One quick thing you really want to do uh, as fast as you can, and I'm sorry I didn't do that right away, that is to uh, add muffling upgrades to your machines. They do make a lot of noise, and... Uh, I did not hear that right away because I'm having some sound issues. So hopefully everything comes out okay. So we'll add the muffling upgrades, we'll add the speed upgrades, and we're gonna add the uh, energy upgrades. And this here is also gonna be a, uh, as they call it, a set it and forget it setup. Uh, you gotta wait for the previous upgrade before you can install the next one. And this is doing its thing. No, it's not. It's not getting water. Why not? Add your upgrades to the pump and you're good. Doesn't quite keep up, but that's just mechanism for you. Right, next step. You need some form of uh, bio stuff. I'm going to use wheat. We're going to create uh, the biofuel. So in your JI or whatever it's called in your mod pack, you'll see what recipes you can use and you can also see the output you get from the crusher. So I like to select one that gives the most for, so we could use baked potato. Basically everything that's organic can be used for this in most packs. Ordinary potatoes, so I'm using wheat, you need a way to input this. And for uh, our purposes, we'll use uh, the logistical pipe. So we put that down there. And in the crusher, we'll have to do a side config. 
and say input from the left side. And we want to output to the door uh, to the right. So make sure to auto eject energy from the bottom, and we're good. Now we just need to push to tap this one so it extracts, and it'll make stuff, and it'll pump it into the next machine as soon as we set the side config to be red on the inside. There we have it. Now this machine also requires water and hydrogen. So to get water, we need to basically connect this fluid pipe. So we'll do, yeah, we can do that into the back. So let's just make sure side config and we go to fluids in the back, yes. And we're also gonna need gases that's gonna be on the top and then we need the pressurized pipe connect that right there and we we get that from this one Oop. like that and we'll put the let's see input This should be output, and we should see the machine making substrate and ethylene. Now, ethylene is a gas that we want to put into the rotary condensator. So we go back to the side config and we find gases and output to the right or to eject, and it gets right into this machine. Okay, so we are in good progress. So we are making liquid ethylene. So our next machine is going to be another pressurized reaction chamber. And we're going to skip one block. Uh, because we now have a liquid that we need to transfer. And that would be uh, this pipe. So we'll connect that in between there. We'll go into the side config for fluids. Input from that side. And we'll do whack whack. Make it to pull out and into this bad boy and the next thing we're gonna need inside this thing is the oxygen so let's say we do that uh, from the top like so and we get uh, our pressurized tube we we'll bring that up and over if only we can do this correctly uh, that's the wrong tube have this one side config we want output on top and it changes color and we have this thing now the next thing we need is to get the substrate from our first uh, PRC pressurized reaction chamber into our second one now since I'm doing this with mostly only mechanical stuff I need to take it out from one of the sides and since all the sides are occupied it has to be the front that's not very pretty but if you have ender io uh, in your pack then you could uh, use ender io for energy and you can have it pump through the bottom but we are not that lucky so we'll do this side config for items would be the front is output should connect Let's just bring it an extra piece over like so and this one should be to the front input and then we can do on the item eject on and it will pop right in and we have our HDPE pellets. So this is basically all you need. Uh, from here you can either uh, if I press the letter U, I can either craft it and use uh, eight pallets for one sheet, or you can put it into an enrichment chamber and get one sheet from one pallet. So let's uh, let us do that. So the easiest way to do that is just place it right next to our uh, PRC machine. Side config output on the right side, eject on, and if you put this one to red on the inside. It'll collect it. So this is the upgraded variant, the elite. 
So put it to auto sort and it did it, did it, did it like so. All the pellets uh, sheets you need, and if we create uh, get uh, we have storage drawer in this mod pack I'm using right now. So let's get a a drawer, one basic drawer. Let's just get an upgrade also for it. We can just uh, put that right next to it, and we say the side config blue eject on, and we'll put it right into our storage. And you can hook that up to your applied energistics, uh, whatever. But the only thing that can stop us now is this machine. It also generates oxygen. But we have a free side. So let's get some pressurized tubes. And we'll put that on the back side. Now we want to connect this to the already existing input on this one, yeah? So that it doesn't, uh, we could loop it in there also if, if we wanted. But I like to loop it so we have, so it goes into the actual storage. So we'll go to side config, gases, uh, backside is output, eject on, so it will clear it out. And uh, now we are 100% golden. And there you have it, your HDPE, set it and forget it. Automated HDPE pellets. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.